YouTube world and welcome to today's vlog. I have something really cool to share with you. Let's go down below where the wind's not blowing and where Nancy and I have been spending an extraordinary amount of time staring into the freezer. Now, this is not our freezer here. This is our fridge. And then freezer box where we can open up and there's ice cream and frozen goods in here. That's not where we've been staring. Because honestly, we've set the temperature on this refrigerator at 36 now. Oh yeah, something on there. We've been staring over here. So yes, we bought a deep freeze and we're so super excited about it. It's been so fun. I think this is day three. Oh, and I was going to actually scoop ice cream for this vlog. But Nancy is not here right now to help me hold the camera. So I can't do that. But I will tell you, this is an awesome deep freeze. We chose it because it fits perfectly in this spot. It's made by a brand out of California called Explorer Bear. It's a very rugged design. It's only 24 inches long, 16 inches tall. I can't remember how deep it is, but it's 40 liters. I think that's around 42 quarts. It's, it's lovely. It makes a great footrest. You saw I put the cushion on there. It actually turns this part of the couch into kind of like a chase lounge. We're working on a design that will uh, Velcro the cushion on here, but it's lovely. Super lovely. Watching TV. And we're just chilling here. Got our legs propped up. This cushion is under repair right now. So please pardon us and don't judge us on that. That's why this cushion, the spare cushion is available because while well, we've we got work to do on these cushions. We've got some new designs. Actually, we're going to break away from the way that the manufacturers design these cushions. But this video is not about that. It's about this, this awesome footrest that we have, this freezer. And you know what? Apart from the size, it's a great, it's a great chair to sit on under the table. We've got plenty of leg room. It works good. This is our small table. We love it. We really love it. But when we have the big table out, this fits perfectly as an extra seat here. Let me tell you a little bit about the freezer. It's 45 watts. So, and that's only when it's running. If you listen carefully, you'll hear that it's not running right now. So I have it set to nine degrees. Uh, we tried it out for the first day at 28 degrees, 26 degrees. It wasn't cold enough to keep the ice cream kind of solid. It was a really soft serve. The rest of it, it kept ice and meat was solid. So I dropped it down to about 15 on day two. We're talking Fahrenheit, 15 Fahrenheit. Still wasn't quite cold enough. And so yesterday afternoon we dropped it to 9 degrees and the ice cream is perfect. <clears throat> It runs about, I don't know, two to three times each hour, and it runs for about five to ten minutes. And it's pulling 45 watts when it's running, um, max. On eco mode, which is how we have it set, it runs 30 watts. So it's pulling about three amps, four amps. Not bad considering a refrigerator increase the temperature it's only pulling like an amp now it's not pulling much at all so this is awesome I was hoping it would flip on for us so you could hear it 
it is super quiet. I was concerned that it was going to sound like we had an extra fan in the room, like a sound. Even when it kicks on, you can barely hear it. It's quieter than these laptops. So this is super cool. This is our new toy on the boat. It's going to make traveling much easier, storing food in the freezer, you know, going to the Bahamas. We could store a lot of food in this uh, 40 quart freezer here. So anyway, thought I would uh, update you on that and share that with you. We'll let you know how it uh, works in the long run. Right now it's running off the inverter. Uh, it has a line hooked up, a wire behind the, the couch over there. And uh, we love it. We've been at the dock now with this for a week. And we're not even plugged into shore power. The solar handles everything just fine. Uh, we're... We're more than super stoked about this new freezer. Anyway, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. We'll have a link for you if this is something you're interested in. We're not like promoting it or anything, but we'll make it convenient for you to find. We love it so far, and we'll share updates as we break it in and put it through some torture tests at sea. Anyway, thanks for watching this vlog. We'll see you soon.